Well, good afternoon, campers. It's uh, 13.57 and it's the 12th of July. I'm up at Stonehenge. Uh, my favourite spot. <laughs> that was mint. <laughs> I like it here because I say beside Dora, nobody can get in front of me. Beautiful picture. I do like it up here. I've been up here for a while. Um, do feel Cliff. I don't know if Cliff will come up and see me. My mate lives down in um, Amesbury. Never know, do you? You know, he might bring his wife up with tea and sandwiches. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Come on, Cliff. You know, it makes sense. Well, I think I'm going to stay here tonight. Don't need to look at me, do you? We can look at this, can we? I think I'll stay here tonight. And I think I'm going to stay here tomorrow night. Um, I sort of half got it in my head. Next week to go up and see Charlie. That's if he's up in Northampton or he's up around that way. Or wherever he's to. Just so go and catch him up. He's right on the East Coast. I don't think I want to go that far. But hey-ho, you can never tell. Well... It's me again. Ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah, you know, I um, stayed on the roundabout here at Aitsbury last night. It was all right. Went shopping my mate. Me uh, parked up, had a cup of coffee. Went shopping. Done what we'd done. Then parked up, had another cup of coffee. Um, dropped her in town. Um, and then mooched up here and got some... Oh, you never fucking believe this. Really. What a cunt I was. I parked up. And because the fucking noise of the traffic, I kept the side door sh shut. And opened the roof. And I mooched off from the... There. And I went from there up here to Stonehenge. And with my middle roof completely open, it forgot to shut it tonight. That's the one that blew off in France when Gina left it open. But I think it stayed where it was because it was actually fully open. But you know when you got on the dual carriageway, I was sort of half playing with this transit. And um, I can't say I was going over 70, but I was doing 60 plenty. And um, that fucking roof's still there. Okay, I pulled in here and pulled me blind across. And we looked up to see if it was shut or open. Then my blind started wiggling about. I thought, well, that's weird. And then it said, dawned on me. What a cunt. And. Um, I'm so fucking grateful to the powers that be that my fucking roof went on the 303 and I've got to go buy a fucking other one. So I'll go with the bottom one. But I've got a stroke of luck on that one with the bottom one. Is I want to put, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what the fuck's it called? I spent so much money on this van last year. Um, and this year. And, um, I want to put a maxi fan on there. So, um, seeing everybody else begs, you know, I mean, um, oh, my fan's gone wrong. Could somebody crowdfund me? Can somebody fucking boss it? Come around and fucking, come around and lick your ass for a pound and all that fucking thing, innit? And, um, yeah, I want to put a, um, I was saying like a stroke of luck, I want to put um, a maxi fan on there, I can't fucking think of anything, I get mesmerised by these fucking stones. 
Um, yeah, we'll put a maxi fan on. And um, but Skin's saying that he's putting a maxi fan on his, and I can have his old roof, his old hatch. So I still need a maxi fan though, because it gets so fucking hot in here. And, um, I mean, I took most of the roof in down and re insulated in. You can tell the bits I've insulated. But yeah. But that's the way that life is, isn't it? You know, sit here and look at them stones all day. It's all them fucking people getting a bastard way to die. Yeah, but like, um, I thank, I thank the powers for being and not let my fucking, lose my fucking roof. I'm sat here watching the uh, Tour de France. And I reckon I could do them downhill bits. You know, when you've got electric bike, I mean, I dare say on some of them really, really steep climbs. I get me fucking my rider out and I could fucking pass that up there, I reckon. You know. Watching the telly yesterday with She That Must Be A Babe. And we were watching this thing and they were exercising. And they said, for those that exercise sat down, um, lean forward and put your belly on your knees. Well, I could fucking do that. I mean, my belly ain't far from my fucking knees. I'm fucking stood up. But, um, yeah, and they, they were, we were watching that. And they said, they'll oh, touch your toes. And I said to Sheila, it must be a beta. I said, do you touch your toes? And she said, well, I don't think so. So she bent over, and she was about that far from touching her toes, see? And she went, you can't touch your toes. I said, I can. I said, I can bend over touch the floor in front of my toes. She went, like that. That was, that was nearly a silent tut, but she went, I don't know, but I fucking can. She was quite shocked, really. You know what? I'm a lot of things. Another one is, I'm fucking supple. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about all sorts of things. I tell you what, you're that fucking, we keep on with this fucking bloke in, in the fucking RAC. Was it in the RAC? It's not, it's not the RAC. What's it? Um, BBC, that's it. Um, oh, I got my new toy. I had a new toy about five years ago. And I got it. I don't know if you've seen one of these. But it's a, a bug of salt. It's a gun. And you put salt in this top bit. Then you load it. That's what it is. Like that. Take the safety off. And then when, there are no fucking flies around now. Anyway, when I first got it, we had flies around our centre light in the in the living room. We got we got wooden floor. And um, she must be a babe. She were at work. And uh, she come home. She went come in. And she went. You all right? I went. Yeah. She walked across the fucking front room. <laughs> It was like a herd of fucking elephants coming up a gravel path, it was. <laughs> he went, oh, bloody hell's on this floor. And that's about four years ago. I had it fucking confiscated, but she said, I can have it if I take it in the van and don't bring it back in the house again. So she gave me back yesterday. I'm just looking at um, what you can do, but up to within a range of about four feet, you can shoot stuff out the sky, which is really good. And I've got this point towards the door. I reckon they all fucking know what this is. But, um, Nothing's come in there. There's loads of flies in here. Just ah. no. Anyway, I'm ready for action. So, um, there you go. <laughs> um, I haven't speak too much lately. I've been fucking... I'm a bit depressed. I'm a bit, a bit down. But I don't really fucking show it. You know. It was nice to see my mate today. And she's, she's quite happy. Which I quite enjoyed. Quite enjoyed seeing her that she was all right. Because she got a bit of trouble at home with her. Well, it's not for me to make public knowledge. Um, and then... Um, just like, it's nice to let her sort of pour out her problems. And me, you know, because we could chat together. But the only thing is, when I'd go off, I mean, if I'd go off for fucking eight, she would fucking, she will say good morning and good night, but she don't fucking speak to me. And if I'm home with Gina, she'll fucking ring me up and speak to me. 
I was out with skins and that last week. She don't ring me up and fucking speak to me. And, uh, oh, I don't like to speak to you when you're out with your friends. I fucking don't, then. Simple, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. What was that? You know, I think that might have been a bit of, a bit of um, like a bit of off a dandelion it come in then. Or if it has amp flown, if it's flown in onto the bed or whatever it is, amp flown fucking back. But don't worry, I'm fucking, I'm loading better go to hunting bear. <laughs> I better not say that really, because in America they call the police the bear. I don't want police people going to fucking shoot him. Uh, when you're a fucker, some of them won't be shot, don't they? Yeah, I was saying about this on the BBC. They're going about this, this fucking presenter, which is morally wrong. You know, don't get me wrong. It's all fucking morally wrong, isn't it? Getting pictures of some blokes or kids or young lads, but apparently whatever he's done ain't illegal. It's not very nice. You know what I mean? But ain't illegal. They're making such a fucking fuss over it. So why did you sack the cunt? You know, I mean, you so-called broke COVID. I mean, I don't... I don't know any of my camper vanner mates. Well, I suppose... I didn't break COVID, did I? Because I was always out of my van, so I was always fucking home. So wherever I went, I was fucking home. It was good with that COVID, no cunt driving about there, wasn't it? It's fucking plenty of room on the roads. I fucking like... I quite like that. And I couldn't catch fuck all, because I never used to go nowhere near nobody. You know, I just went park, park up and... You used to have to go to the... Go, well, you would go to the fucking shop. Because I used to go back there indoors and go shopping for me. And, um... She'd bring it out, stick it on the side, I'd wipe it down, put it in here and fuck off. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just thinking. I was going to tell you something else. But, um, yeah, that was one of them fluffy things blowing about because I just seen one outside. You know, so I should be in bed with a fluffy thing tonight. <laughs> anyway, peeps, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, you know. Fighting, love you all. Bye bye. And you skins.